In this illustration, we intend to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams using the Abacus software and analytical solution. As you observe in this picture, a concentrated moment as much as 64 kilonewton meter is applied to point C and a linear load as much as 24 kilonewton per meter is applied to DB section. In this training video, first we draw shear force and bending moment diagrams using the analytical solution, then draw these diagrams using the abacus software and finally compare the results obtained from the abacus software with results of analytical solution. In these pictures, shear force and bending moment diagrams have been drawn. Here the red diagrams are related to analytical solution and the blue diagrams are concerned to the abacus software. Actually, this example has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. You can observe this problem in the picture shown here. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as two dimensional. From here deformable then via enter approximate size equal to 20 and continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As you see in the picture the length of beam is equal to 6 meters. Done. In the next step, in order to determine the position of supports and the place on which the loadings have been applied, we should create partitions over the beam. Actually, we should divide the beam into three sections. I will click on Tools menu, then select Datum. From here, select Offset from point, select this point, and enter Offset equal to 2, 0, and 0. I will select this point and enter Offset equal to 2 meters, 0, and 0. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, then select Partition. From here, choose Select a Midpoint Datum Point. Select this point and click on Create Partition. I will select this line, then this point and click on Create Partition. As you observe, the beam was divided into three sections. I will enter property module, click on create material. Here, we suppose that the beam is made of steel and of course, the type of beam will not have any effect on the results in this problem. I will click on mechanical menu, then elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus of steel is equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal and Poisson ratio of the steel is equal to 0 0.3. OK. I will click on Create Section. From here, select Beam and the Beam and continue. As it can be observed in the picture, the cross section of the beam is I-shaped the type of which has been displayed here. The type of beam is S250-52. I will click on Create Beam Profile. Here select 
I and continue. Here we should enter the size of beam cross section. Actually, we should enter the length of web and length of flange. Also, the thickness of web and thickness of flange in this section. In order to find the specifications of the beam cross section, we can also take advantage of this book. In this section, you can observe the specifications of the beam cross section. The length of web is equal to 254 millimeters. The length of flange is equal to 125 millimeters. The thickness of web is equal to a uh, fifteen point one millimeters. The thickness of flange is equal to twelve point five millimeters. OK and OK. I will click on Assign section. Select the beam. Done and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Assign beam orientation. Select the beam. Done. Press the Enter button and OK. Here you can observe the picture of the beam in a three-dimensional form. I will enter assembly module, click on create instance and OK. After that, I will enter step module, click on create step. Here, select static general and continue. Here, since the problem is linear in feature, I will select off option. I will enter time period equal to one second, though it will have no effect on the results. And you can enter any number here. OK. In the next step, I will click on Field Output Manager. Edit. Here, I will tick on Enforce SO option. And we need to select this option in order to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams and this option is actually used for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagrams for the beam for the beam elements in fact you should take note that this option is used for the beam elements only and you cannot use that for truss shell or solid elements. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. Here, select initial step, then select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point done.
As you observe in the picture, a pin support has been used at point A. So here, I will close the boundary conditions of U1 and U2 and leave UR3 free and OK. Once again, I will click on Create Boundary Condition, select Displacement Rotation and continue. Here I will select this point, Done. As it can be observed in the picture, in this picture, uh, a roller support has been used at point D. This roller support will allow movement directed at x-axis but would not let any movement be made directed at y-axis. Therefore, here I will close the boundary condition of U2 and OK. In the next step, I will click on Create Load, select Step 1, then select Line Load and Continue. I will select this section, Done. As you observe in the picture, a linear load as much as 24 kilo newton per meter has been applied to the beam. I will enter the amount of the linear load equal to negative 24,000 newton per meter. In the next step, I click on Create Load. Here, select Moment and Continue. I will select this point. Done. As you can observe in this picture, a concentrated moment as much as 64 kilo, kilonewton meters has been applied to point C. What is significant to note here is the direction of moment. Here, in this problem, the direction of moment is clockwise. Here, we should enter the proper direction of moment in the Abacus software. In order to define the proper direction in the Abacus software, you should use the right-hand rule in such a way that you turn the four fingers of your right hand clockwise and the thumb will indicate the direction of moment. Here, the moment is directed at the negative z-axis. I will enter the value of moment equal to negative 64,000 newton per meter, which would actually be opposite to the z-axis and can be observed in this picture. In the next step, I will enter Mesh Module. Click on Seed Part and enter approximate global size equal to 0.02 meters. Click on Mesh Part and Yes. In the next step, I will click on Assign Element Type. Select the whole of the beam. Done. Here, the element family should be put on beam. OK. I will enter Job Module here. I will save the model. I click on create job. Continue, OK, and then click on Submit.
the analysis was done successfully, so I'll click on Result. Here, you can observe the deformation of the beam. Here, the purpose of simulating this problem is to draw shear force and bending moment diagrams. First, the problem would be solved using the analytical solution, then using the Abacus software, and finally, the results gained from the analytical solution will be compared with results of the Abacus software. Here, we first solve the problem using the analytical solution. To do so, we should first calculate the reaction forces at A and B points. In order to calculate the reaction forces at point A, we'll only need to write the moment about point D. And here, reaction force at point A would be equal to 28 kilo newton. In the step after that, reaction force at point D has been got, that is equal to 76 kN. In the next step, we should write shear force and bending moment for different interval of the beam. Here, we have divided the beam into three sections. The first section is AC, the second is CD. And the third section is DB. And for each one of these sections, the relations of shear force and bending moment should be written. Of course, this has been performed here. In the next step, we should draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Here, these diagrams can be clearly observed. The green diagram is concerned to shear force and the violet color is related to bending moment diagram. Now we intend to draw these diagrams in the Abacus software. First I will click on tools menu then select path and create. Continue. Click on add before. Select the first node of the beam. Then the end node. Done. And OK. I click on create XY data, select path and continue. Here I select undeformed option, then include intersections. And by doing so, the middle nodes between the first and last nodes will be selected. Here I will select the last frame. OK. Then here I will select N force S. O2, that is actually shear force directed at y-axis. OK, click on save as. Here you can observe the shear force diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained 
from the Abacus software are similar to those of the analytical solution, but there is a slight difference between their results, and that is the results of the Abacus software are negative form of results gained from the analytical solution. It actually means that we should multiply the results of Abacus software by negative 1 in order to get the results of the analytical solution. I will do the same. As you observe here, the results obtained from the Abacus software could become conformed with those of the analytical solution. Now, in order to conform the results of the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution more precisely, first, we draw the diagram of results gained from the analytical solution in the Excel software in order to compare the results of the Abacus software with results of the analytical solution. To draw these diagrams, we should first write the related formulae in the Excel software. Shear force for the size range between zero 2 meters is equal to 28 kilonewton. For the size range between 2 4 meters is equal to 28 kilonewton. And we'll use this relation for the size range between 4 6 meters. Here, uh, we will draw the shear force diagram.
In the next step, I should insert the diagram results using the Abacus software into the Excel software. Here, yeah, the shear force diagram using the Abacus software, an analytical, analytical solution was drawn. The red diagram is related to the analytical solution, and the blue diagram is related to the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are quite conformed with the results of the analytical solution. In the next step, we should draw the bending moment diagram. In fact, uh, we should implement the same steps once again. Here, first, I'll draw the bending moment diagram using the analytical solution. And you can observe the relations of bending moment for different size ranges.
In the next step, we should draw the bending moment diagram using the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select Path, and Continue. Here, I will select Enforce SO2 option. That is actually the same bending moment. Here, you can observe the bending moment diagram having been drawn in the Abacus software. Here, I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. Here, the bending moment diagram has been drawn using the Abacus software and analytical solution. Actually, the red diagram is pertinent to analytical solution and the blue one is related to the Abacus software. As you observe, the results having been obtained from the Abacus software are exactly concordant with those of the analytical solution.